Alabama growing up as a kid, it was it was uh, real tough. Like uh, you like slavery, you like slaves, you uh, do everything the uh, white people say do, like they say do, when they say do, and uh, uh, and, if, and as long as you done did that, and um, uh, you 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 the good you the good nigga, <laughs> you mine. That's one of my niggas. He's a good one, and don't have no trouble with it. But if you diso- if you disobeyed and he didn't like you and tried to get put in jail or so, so how could you, you know, uh, if the uh, black community was upset with something, how could you protest? What could you do about it? There wasn't no protest back in those days. <laughs> Whatever comes down the tube, you accept it like it is, just like it was. You, you wasn't no protest. Black didn't protest. If he protested, he was at home by himself protesting. So I don't know. You know, it really seems interesting that you know we don't have more people today that's bitter, you know, because of what happened to him in the past. Um, you know, how, how how did you avoid not having an attitude or or not being rebellious and wanting to go back and kill or all those types of things? How are you able to just keep your mind on something positive or, you know, in developing a better life for yourself? Well, my parents, my dad, mom, and granddad, and so forth, that raised me up and always told me, uh, uh, son, as long as you obey and, and do what you're told to do and work hard, when, you get, when they give you a job, you'll be all right. And be sure you say, yes, sir, no, sir, to any white person, whether he from three years old up, it's always yes, sir, no, sir. Uh, with, a, with a smile, and you stay out of trouble. What would happen if you didn't say yes, sir, and no, sir, uh, to somebody that was your own age or just a few years older? What, what would happen then? You'd have to get beat up, put in jail. <laughs>